Hi, welcome. This is another sneak preview and um, I've installed Arch Linux B i3. Now i3, if I may talk about my past a little bit, I think came, I came across i3 around uh, five years ago or so and um, it was a hate-love relation because there was nothing to click, there was nothing to see, there was nothing available. And um, it's a black screen you get if you really install i3 with, without the, with the standard config. It's just bare um, some lines here on the right and that's it really. And maybe a number here. But nothing to, to click or to know and then you need to figure it out and super shift enter. You go inside code. It is a tiling window manager. It requires you to know the code. So in the config. Um, you can actually change code and add code and we've also here a config for polybar so this is the standard i3 bar but if you want a polybar that's normally on the top you can put it anywhere you want you can put it on the bottom as well then this one is the only difference well you'll you'll do a melt if you do a compare you'll know the difference lots of themes you can choose and add Linux i3 so also on, on our flagship, right? Uh, Openbox XFC i3, i3 is i3. And the thing, so back to the past, um, the thing I loved and liked was that, um, for instance, I had Arch Linux and I booted straight up in I, into i3. There was no display manager, it was just boom, i3 was there <coughs> and it was stable. It has never faulted me, is that a good word? It has never broken down, it was always, always stable. Even when I had these i3 gaps next thing, so which is coming from GitHub, right? So you would think that would be less stable. No, no. So i3 has um, has surprised me in, in, in that respect that uh, it never failed with any of our updates in the past. Nor did it fail on Ubuntu, nor did it fail on Linux Mint. It worked on i3 and all I did was install the packages from that particular distribution and put this one there config boom copy paste and it worked and i felt i felt this was so powerful and so strong that i fell probably in love with i3 and with tiling managers in general so i just have a long past with i3 longer than the others but um from that respect i can say i3 is stable and I'm happy to hear that uh, Ray, one of our uh, Arch Linux members, now is really focused and really um, saying, okay, I'm all over i3, this is awesome. So that's great, but again, doesn't matter really, it's up to you, it's a personal choice. I can only say what's my opinion, my personal experience with i3, is that it has never uh, failed me. It is much longer, if you open this config, it's much longer than the one of BSPWM. So if somebody would say to me, hey, um, what tiling window manager should I start with? And probably I'm gonna say BSPWM because of the fact that this config has very long. So it's a bunch of reading. And if you don't like to read, this is not for you, but it can set anything. It's anything can be changed and it's all in here. But this is due to the fact is that this config has traveled f with me from i3 to Ubuntu to Linux Mint to Arch Labs, uh, right? Arch Merge and then Arch Linux. So it has seen the world, <laughs> so to speak. And that's why it's so, um, so long and so complex and all the variations are in here with capital letters and no capital letters. All the tricks are uh, applied, so to speak. So that's i3 for you um maybe i can show you why this is here we have the arch linux ctrl alt e that's actually a, a shortcut arch linux tweak tool and the arch linux tweak tool if you press your, if your type in your root password you can set some thing, things in here we have here the theme changer and it's one of our projects <coughs> so that whenever you're on a particular desktop that you change the theme with an easy theme changer and it's available and awesome. Didn't show that, missed chance. And uh, it's also available here. And the only thing we do is actually change these red things into the original one. And, in, and the, the, 
the recent one, the one that's working. So in here we have settings. We replace the settings with the one from here. And that's basically it. But that's of course easy. Apply. Reload your window manager with Super Shift R. Okay, Super Shift R. Look at that. It has a different color, right? So it's a little bit different. And we have uh, sunset. It's going to be obvious, I think. So now it's orange. And everything is now a little bit different. So it's not much, but it's something, right? You can change your um, look any way you see fit. Let's go for one more archive and reload. And we have this rather bluish. So that's still on my to-do list. Uh, make some more of these um, colors, so changes, themes. And we'll do that, uh, well, in the next weeks, months. So that's i3 for you. Um, for the rest, you can change your polybar. You can change the, um, the bar into the polybar if you want. It's actually quite easy. But you need to install polybar. Eric, is polybar installed? This is a minimal version, right? So if to, to know if something is installed, what I do is I try to remove it. If I can't remove it, it's not installed. So polybar is not installed. Okay, sudo pacman minus s polybar. Polybar is installed. Fine, but sudo pacman is the configuration installed. No, you don't have the configuration file. So Linux provides you with a lot of modules. It's in. Where is it? It's not in your system, in your etc scale. Yeah, that's not useful. It needs to be in your home directory. So scale it is, and it's now inside my etc scale. Now, changing the polybar from there to there is actually pretty simple, and probably we're going to make something in the tweak tool because that would be awesome, and it's actually super simple. Like we call this um, the old one, and we call the polybar config and that's all we need to do with the application reload it and we have here now the polybar at the top you see and that's gone the other bar is gone we have the polybar in um, at the top and the difference we can check it out if you want to if you want to learn you go for a compare uh, i'm not sure if it's going to respond because i already did that i think melt is not going to respond, I see. Melt is not there. This is, by the way, Control shift escape And Super Q is killing it again. That is a bit strange. No clue what's happening. Melt. Oops. <laughs> Pseudo Pac-Man minus S melt. Nothing strange at all, Eric. You just forgot the application. Come on, download. Too slow. Where is it coming from this time? Mirror Osbeck again. Another video as well. So, Meld installed. Now the custom action keyboard shortcut we so love, which is actually here. Take a look at it. This is why we want Tunar to be there. All this stuff is not on other distros. It is not, right? We want it. It's our workflow. Compare, Ta -da. and then you decide and learn. So this means uh, here, some changes here, the bar is gone, that's gone, changes this, changes that. That's basically the difference between file A and file, file B. And I always say it and I keep saying it and I hope you realize what a powerful tool this is. Melt is making me develop super fast, right? 18 ISOs. This morning I did a melt, I figured out, I, I compared 18 Calamaris configurations. Swiftly, fast, great workflow. That's because of melt. All right, so that's it for me. We have now a Polybar i3. We can have some fun and play around with it some more, but basically um, this is a sneak preview, right? Okay, cheers.